Hello, welcome to Ekido. We are between Future Civil and Structural Engineer. My name is Justice Omoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how um, to install KC Soft and also um, Stonebridge templates. These two softwares are used. One, this KC Soft is used to design and detail staircase, and this other one, Stonebridge template, is, is, is a customized portal structured template. Which is which you use for your to perform your structural detailing after you're done with your portal structure design. So most of you are uh, have been complaining that they don't know how to install the software. Now look at it. Once you download this software, as you can see it here, this is how your software will look like. You will have the name like this, as you can see, KC Soft Package version 22. And if you have a multiple download, you know that it will have something like a bracket. Something like this, a bracket one or bracket two. I would say that you should not use that one. Always use the one that have just this name and without a bracket, which shows a multiple download. And also the same thing for this stone bridge template. You also you, uh, have to have your name like this without having a bracket. If it has a bracket, like having something like this bracket one, like just like this, attached to the name, it will not work. So you have to download the folder. Save, uh, as it is like this without having any additional extension or name extension okay so once you download this software right now first of all let me start with the case soft which is the staircase um, design and then detailing software you have to copy it now copy the zip file or just 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 copy it into your document folder sorry into your in into your document folder now on this document folder now let me just uh, take off this one that that's already here now on this document folder now as you can see I don't have anyone here again. You just have to paste it. So control P, also control V, which is to paste. Now once you paste it, you have to now right click and then unzip it from here. So I'll just unzip it now, extract the file from here to take it off from zip. Now I have taken it off from zip. You can now see that we now have a zip point here. So a zip point here and then the empty folder here and sorry and, and a folder here. So I will now open this place now, which, which I just um, zipped. Sorry, which I which I've just unzipped. Then click on this place here that says application. And then I will now click on this place now that says KC Soft version 22 software. I will click here and then open here. Now once I open here right now, it will tends to open. So before you this must work on your own, you must have an Excel at least up to 2019 version. Else it will it else you'll not be able to see the software perform very good for you. Okay, so right now you now click on this place here. Always click here that says enable content. So click here right now and then click on yes, as you can see there. Now this is now the um, the software interface that says welcome to KC Soft comes with civil software. Okay, this um, software is basically used for a staircase design. So right now you now click on this place here that says um, staircase here. And then you will see that this software cannot design for three types of staircase, which simply means straight flight, half turn, and open well staircase. So with this right now, you also see this place here that says click on the type of staircase you want to design. So if maybe if maybe I want to design for an, a half turn staircase or for a or for an open well staircase or for this other one, I'll just click on the one which 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 I want. So in this case right now, let me say want to design for an open well staircase so i'll just click here right now open well and then i will now see this um dialog box here as you can see here now i'll just enter the number of my um i'll just enter the width of my thread let me just say um 3 3 20 3 20 and then come here right now and the riser i'll just say um I, I can say 175 as my riser or 16162 as my riser Basically, it is meant to be 150, but I'm actually have to just input values. Then on my waist, I can put 150, although it will fail because the 150 will be, too, will be too tiny. But if there's a failure, you also see it on the software and we'll, we'll come and increase it. So right now, this place right now, which says what thickness, I want my wall to be 225. Okay. Then this place that says um, width of landing one, which is this landing one here, which is this width here. I want to put here 1100. And this place, so 100. And this place that says width of landing two, which is here, I want to put here 1102. So let, let them be the same. And this place that shows here landing three, this one here, which it says, um, which says, um, okay, width of first landing. Okay, this place here, width of first landing. 
of sorry, of first flight. I want to put here one one two the same thing, and this place also of third flight, which is here. One one two the same thing. Okay, that's fine. So right now you now have to put here that says number of steps on your first flight. So number of first on number of steps on the first flight. I want, let me say I have um um seven. And then on this place now that says number of steps on second flight, I want I want to have it to be five. And then here that says number of steps on your um on your th on third flight this year. And let me say I have here to be um let me say um seven again. Okay. Now this place now that says finishes. Now you are done with the stair geometry. Now let us now enter loading. On the loading area, you just have to input where they call finishing here. So I'll, I'll, let me say I want to have my finishing to be 1.3, okay? And then and then this place that says life load, you now you have to go and choose your life load of your, of, of your staircase. Now, if you click on this place, you will see a series of life load. You can see it here. You have life load for hospital and for everything. So let me say I want to design this um, staircase for um for just a domestic um, building. So I'll just choose here right now. Which says the most building. If it is for hospital, just click here and, and it will pick the load for the life load. But right now, let me just go and pick a um, domestic use. Okay. So right now, we now enter concrete. Um. Uh, sorry, material properties now. So let me just say I want my um um um, um concrete density to be twenty five. Okay. And I want to have my concrete cover to be twenty. Let me just choose twenty as my cover of concrete. Concrete. Now this place that says concrete grade, I want to use um. You can. If you click here right now, you will see a series of concrete grade. So let me just say I, I want to use C20 and 25. And then here that says T grade. I'll just click again and, and choose my T grade. Let me say I, I want to use my my uh my T to be to be 460 as my as, as my T grade. Now on this place that shows bar size. If I click here right now, you will see bar size for staircase. Um, y10, y20, y16, and y12. So let me just use a common one, which is y12. I'll click here right now and say y12. So once you've once you've um, um put all these your values right now, nothing to do right now is now click on the place that shows um click on this place that says um that says analysis and then design. So I'll click here right now and then you will see your um stack um your staircase calculation based on your inputs as you can see there which now say uh, which now says design parameters as in there which is three point and three two zero millimeter and all that and you just cross check you just have to um you just have to um cross check all your all your values which you have put if they are okay then now proceed you now see the calculation loading and then see the um, design load as given to you and then you also see that that it will tell you provide um um provide white wave at three hundred spacing as you can see there button and also the same thing here for the first flight second flight and third flight then when you're done you now click on this place here that says DSF here and first of all before you click on DSF first of all check on this place here this place that says um detection check must be okay as you can see it here that this says that deflection is okay so this staircase is not failing by deflection because 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 the check here shows okay so right now had it been it was failing by deflection you, you just click here go back and then go and increase your um your depth of your width and then come back here and it was and and, and then check and check if it's okay then you now click on this place that says dsf now automatically you just see your staircase detail now for you so i'll now click here right now and say dsf now and then wait for it to detail the staircase now it takes up to um some seconds okay so right now you can now see that it has in, um opened our staircase and then detail it on the uh, on the staircase uh on, on the as you can see now, our staircase detailing showing us our um, showing the um, showing the um, for showing all the reinforcement and all that, and also showing the section as, as you can see the sections. This is for the third flight, and this is for the um, second flight, and then this is for the first flight. Okay, so right now you can you can also play right now and then go and print it out by just going to print here and then that's all. Okay, so now you. You can now see how this software has just um, produced our staircase detailing. So if maybe you want this software, so you should check on the link down below and download that. So just check on the link down below and download that, and then and then follow the steps of what I have uh, of of the steps I have shown to now use this software. Okay, so let me just go back to the software right. Let me just close right now. Close right now. So also, so also, you can also go and print directly by just printing on this your um drawing. Now let me just say I want to print now. Um, print all the way down. And go here right now and then go and print all the way down here and then print out here and then say print.
print preview so you can just go right now and then send it to your to your printer as you can see this tech is dealing now okay so right now let me just go escape, escape and then um go back as you can see there right now okay so i'll just close up this one right now close up this and then close up this also close up these two and then let me just go back to the software here and click on back okay that's fine okay now let me go and show you the other one right now i'll just go down right now and then click on close so if if maybe you want this software i would say you check on the link on the link down below and download that and then you will see and then and then it will be downloaded to your link automatically it is not free actually it is not free and also it is not expensive okay so right now let me just go and show you the other one right now and just click um save okay that's fine let me just, let me just show you how to use the um stone bridge um template which is a template that is used um, after you have done with your um, design in putter structure it is a customized template that helps you to perform your detailing for your putter structure okay so let me just go back right now so so if in case you want to see more videos about these two software i'll take i'll say you check on the link down below uh, or watch other videos on our channel and then you will see how these two softwares work perfectly to make your design to, to, to make your uh, work very very easy after your design in portal structure okay so let me just go and show you right now for this other one now okay